So the Farm Bill is really important legislation that sets U.S. farm policy for agriculture and food for five years at a time. And the current one that's being worked on will uh, be about $1.5 trillion. What most people think about when they think about the Farm Bill is this section right here, the commodity supports. And uh, these programs pay farmers when the price for corn or milk or whatever falls so low that they have difficulty staying profitable. The idea is that we want farmers to stay in business, you know, keep producing food for us, so we help them out a little bit. And along with that, we have the crop insurance section. And this subsidizes farmers to help them pay, uh, pay for crop insurance. Crop insurance kicks in if farmers have a disaster like a drought or a hailstorm that wrecks the crop. But as you can see, the biggest section of Farm Bill funding is nutrition. This is uh, food assistance programs to help people in need. The most familiar part is probably SNAP, which used to be called food stamps. And the reason why we pair the food programs with the farm programs is that builds uh, support from both urban and rural lawmakers, makes it easier to get the Farm Bill passed. The other big section of Farm Bill funding is conservation. This funds projects that prevent erosion on farms and keeps fertilizer from washing away and polluting streams. But the Farm Bill is a big bag and there's a lot of other things in it. We have research, ag research that helps farmers produce more, find new ways to combat pests, uh, develop new technologies that use fewer resources. We have trade programs that encourage exports, which are a big part of U.S. agriculture, and uh, fund humanitarian relief. There's also funding for the Forest Service, crops renewable energy, a lot of other things. It all comes together to create the Farm Bill.